Good morning, adventurers. Morning. We've checked out of our hostel here in Kyoto. We are heading a few blocks away from where we were staying, trying to find breakfast. We found a little cafe that opens at 11.30. It's 11.25, so I'm hoping Google's timing was correct. Yeah, it's been kind of hard finding breakfast spots other than like chain coffee shops, at least here in our area. Yeah. Um, it's all just noodles and ramen. <laughs> yeah, which we've had a lot of that, so we're trying to change it up a little bit. Then after that, I think we're going to head to, there's this bamboo forest that's uh, just west of where we're at in Kyoto. Yes. That we really want to check out. And then there's also a shrine. We're going to try to get to a couple of them, but we may only get to one because we're heading down to Osaka for a few days. And then off to the Philippines. The time here's going by so fast. I'm so sad, yeah. but it's another beautiful day. We're ready to make the most of it. But first, breakfast. This place turned out to be really quaint. We pretty much have it to ourselves. And uh, the food looks amazing. They have these uh, curries. So I got a coconut chicken curry mm -hmm. that's still steaming. <laughs> looks really good. I finally found veggies, you guys. It's a veggie pho with harissa in there, so I think it'll be a little bit spicy. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, and mine came with this cheeky little salad on the yeah, side, too. It's gonna be nice. Cheese. Of course, we have some coffee on the way. Yeah, it smells really good. It's a lot of spices and coconut aroma coming off of it. That is so good. It's a little, like, spicy and peppery. It's got, like, um, clove kind of taste in there. It's got a lot of spices going on there. It's pretty freaking, it's pretty unique. I'm pretty happy with this choice. Guys, we just got on this train, but uh, after a few stops, we realized it was not the right train to head out to the shrine. It's the, or to the bamboo forest. It's the opposite way. So, well, not the 100% opposite way. Kind of It's opposite. just going south instead <laughs> of west. While we're waiting for our train to take us back the other way, I wanted to tell you guys about the bathroom situation here in Japan. I just was put doing oh, an yeah. Insta story of it. <laughs> Most of our stories have been about the bathrooms because their bathrooms are really good here. The toilets are all really sophisticated. They have warmers on the seat. They have little bidets that come out. They, even they have talk like to you sometimes. That blows yeah, an air dryer that blows up your bum. <laughs> some of them spray like perfume in the toilet to cover yeah. up any, you know, the smells. And they have a lot of public toilets. So here in the stations, every single station we've been in, we've been able to find a public toilet. We've arrived to the Arashiyama area and the bamboo forest is just near here, but there's also a monkey park. There is, and we debated going in. It's um, 550 yen a person. Yeah, it's so like five USD or so. Yeah, and it's a little bit of a hike upstairs to get there, but we figure we're here, we might as well try it out. Yeah, apparently there's a lot of monkeys up here, so yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be pretty fun. So it's a bit of a walk to get up there, but the scenery is really nice. It's about 15 minutes uphill, supposedly, <laughs> so we should be Almost there. At least it's all in the shade though. Yeah. The hike was pretty rough, but totally worth it. Totally Check this worth view it. out. Pretty cool. Oh yeah. And there are a lot of monkeys around here, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I mean, They're everywhere. As far as the eye can see. Yeah. Monkey crossing. <laughs> I'm gonna let them cross because I am slightly terrified of them. <laughs> They're really uh, monkeying around, huh? We're 
crossing the Katsura River right now. It's a really beautiful spot. A lot of people out on boats and stuff over there. Looks really cool. If we had more time, we would definitely consider doing that. Oh yeah, and a lot of people are riding bikes in this area. I think that would be a wonderful day. Yeah. A bike and a boat ride. But the bamboo forest is over there somewhere, so we're headed to it now. They have cherry blossom ice cream here. I think we're gonna give it a try. It sounds amazing. Let's see what cherry blossoms taste like. Oh, that's amazing. There's like cinnamon or clove in there. It kind of has a hint of floral, but it's mostly like vanilla with clove. Presentations. It's really good. Beautiful. <laughs> and it's so creamy. Yeah, but it's really hot out here, so it's melting very quickly. Oh yeah, it's just got kind of a cinnamon cinnamony kind of brown sugary or like graham cracker kind of yeah, taste to it. Like a, yeah, almost it's like pretty a good. pumpkin pie. You get like a, a little essence of like a floral kind yeah, of vibe, but it's like, pretty good. Huh. That is not at all what I was expecting, but I am delightfully surprised. Guys, these people have a cat on a leash. Oh my god. That's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> hey! Oh, you just lounging. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, you're adorable. We've entered the bamboo forest. There are a lot of people here. I would imagine if you came earlier, it's gonna be a little bit more cleared out, but still we were able to find fairly secluded spots like this where there's not too many people and yeah. you can get some pretty good photos. It's definitely doable, I would say. Yeah. See, there's spots like this that are pretty much secluded and depending on how good your Photoshop skills are, you can definitely crop out a few people if you need to. When I first found this, it was on Instagram and I was like, oh, we gotta go there, it looks so neat. And then I real I started reading about it and everyone was like, it's so crowded. I don't know how anybody gets a picture here. And I think the key is to come at sunrise around 6 or 7 a.m. Otherwise, we'll be doing some Photoshopping. Still worth checking out though. It's very cool. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. And even on a hot day, it's nice because it's all shady. <laughs> All right, before we go, we had one more stop to make. This is the Fushimi Inari Shrine, and it is to the Shinto god of rice, who is Inari. Apparently there are thousands of shrines to this god, but this one is the most important one. It sits at the base of this mountain. It's lined with what are called Tori gates, and they're all these bright orange colors, and they actually mark the trails up the mountain. So it's kind of another popular Instagram spot to walk through it and get the picture. I think you guys will recognize it once we get inside. Each of these gates was donated by an individual or a company. That's what this inscription is here. It says who donated it. We read that the donations start at 400,000 yen and go up to a million yen. And did you say that it was the size kind of determines the value? Yeah, supposedly, because some of them are really big and yeah. some of them are a bit smaller. So I guess depending on your donation, you get a bigger or smaller, what were they calling? Tory gate. A bigger or smaller Tory gate. We stopped into a random noodle bar to get some uh, dinner. Ooh, yeah. But we actually went to a different location of the same place the other night and got their gyoza. They were so friggin' good. Yeah, so we got some more. And I just got some nice uh, simple noodles. This is only 400 yen, which is like, you know, $3.50 or so. Really good deal. <clears throat> a lot of food, too. It's real good. And I got pork and cabbage, but it also came with a bonus of some peppers and onions. Yeah, mine was supposed to have uh, vegetables in it. And they put a, a little in there, but it's never quite as much as I'm wanting, but still dang good. We've been so impressed with the food in these random places. And watching them cook is amazing. You, you're just, it's like a show. Oh and they're kind of dancing back there. And they, there's like it an art form so to it. Fast. It takes 
Like five minutes or less to get your food. But we're going to head back to the hostel where we've been storing our bags. We're going to pick those up, grab the train down to Osaka, and we will see you guys there. Woo. We've made it to Osaka. Mm -hmm. It was a long journey. Um, God, so had long. to transfer a few trains. We were schlepping all of our equipment. That's why we didn't really film any of it because we just had to put the camera up. And yeah. uh, it's been hectic trying to travel with all of our gear and filming everything. So we're going to be in Osaka a few days and it's on to the Philippines. So we're going to have a video or two here of us just exploring the city. And uh, yeah, then it's off to the Philippines for the first time. It's our first time being there. So. Yeah, I am a little sad though. The, the forecast has a little bit of um, cold and, and rain. Yeah. But we're going to make the most of it. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.